Adjustable rate mortgages, called ARMS for short, don't have the best history. Popular during the housing boom, they have been widely blamed for contributing to the country's financial crisis in 2008. Now with mortgage rates starting to rise, ARMS are seeing a resurgence. Is that a good thing? Mike Aubrey is host of HGTV show's Power Broker, and he's also a real estate agent. Mike, good morning. Good morning. So good morning. why are they coming back? Why do people like them a little bit more now? You know, I, I think that during the boom, ARMS sort of got a bad rap. Basically, ARM was not a three-letter word. It was a four-letter word coming out of it. People thought terrible things about these products. And part of the reason that they're coming back is because you can get such an aggressive rate now. I think that the other big reason is people just aren't staying in their homes for 30 years anymore. And people are using products like this to be able to be more with their lifestyle currently. An aggressive rate, but when it expires, I mean, it, it, it spikes. Uh, are, are lenders holding arm applicants now to higher standards? Well, I mean, that kind of goes back to Dodd-Frank and what are called qualified mortgage rules that have sort of come into play now. And everybody's being held to a higher standard. But specifically with arms, people are being held to a higher standard. And probably the reason why is because most underwriters are going to underwrite you to about 2% higher than what that loan is actually being quoted to you at. So really, it's harder to qualify to that end for an arm than it is for a fixed rate mortgage. So if you are someone who has a home right now and you're thinking, maybe I want to refinance, obviously you said an arm is better for short term. Is an arm ever a good idea if you want to refinance on a long term? You know, I don't think that it's a bad idea as long as you go into it tactically with your eyes open and you make an educated decision. It depends on what long term means to you. I mean, there are ARM products out there that are five-year ARM products, seven-year ARM products, 10-year ARM products. And if you look at sort of what the National Association of Realtors are saying in terms of people staying in their homes, we're a much more transient society than we used to be. People are staying in their homes for seven years now. So to that end, if you did a 10-year ARM, is that a long term strategy? I think it is. 10-year ARM is the most popular right now. Well, I don't know that I would say that. I think a five-year arm probably is the most popular because it comes with the lowest rate. And I think for anybody who is looking to get that low rate and be able to use that extra money somewhere else, whether they want to put it in securities or something like that, I think that they are looking for the most aggressive, lowest rate they can get. I think also one of the keys that I learned having, having an arm on a property, sure. you have to get a cap, it seems like, so that you make sure when things adjust... There's a fixed amount it can swing on both, whether the market goes up or whether the market goes down. Absolutely. I mean, the two big things that you're going to know going into an arm is how often is it going to adjust. So as an example, on a five-year arm, it's going to, a 5-1 arm will adjust every year after the first five-year term, but then also, what is it top end? You'll know going into it what the highest it can adjust to is. And I mean, if you start being in, a, in an economy where you're working your way up that way, you just refi out of it and get away from it. But the bottom line is you're not going to be there for more than 10 years if you're at this particular rate or five years for that matter. You just need to watch out for it. Agreed. Okay. Well, I have a 5-1, so you made me a little nervous there, Mike. <laughs> Thank you so Get much. out of there. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mike.